Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be covering toothpick motors. I've been testing a lot behind the scenes. I've compiled enough data. We're going to be taking a look at five or six, five motors right now. Um, and they are the toothpick class motors. They're the 1102 to 1104. And the KV is the key here because my favorite KV is the ones between 7,000 KV to 8,700 KV. Those are really great because those give you flexibility between a 2SHV and a 3SHV and yet be super efficient. And um, we're going to be covering those motors that I have so far in that range. And obviously, I'll keep compiling the data as time goes on. Now, we've tested these motors on a 2SHV and also 3SHV, so we're going to take a look at that. We're not going to cover every single thing about them, but I'm going to give you some, some of my notes, like some, you know, I could start smelling the windings on 3S and some things, you know, just to look out for and hopefully help you make an educated purchase. That's the whole idea here. PCB Way is one of the leading PCB manufacturers that I even use on a daily basis, not only to do my projects, but also some of the products that I've designed that's currently in the market, like the Drone Mesh V USB. And I'm constantly using them for prototyping, and I'm also using their assembly services, and they also do have flashing services for specific hardware requirements. So it's a really great place to have your PCB manufactured or prototyped. All right, guys, so here are the motors that we have tested. Now, this is the 2S test, and I've also done the 3S test, but I want to start off with the 3S because that's where I'm that's what I'm usually flying at the most and I think is the most um, interesting part because the 2s is kind of the all basically kind of similar but to be honest this is where the motor actually makes the most sense to me and then the 2s 2s would just follow in the same footsteps now these were tested on uh, HV voltage of a 2s and a 3s so let's make sense of this up top is we have each motors name and what battery size it was running on so this was a 3s HV and all of these are 3SHV right here. Next, we have the thrust in grams, the load in amperage, the volts, the power in watts, and the efficiency gram force per watt. And the way this works is for each motor, this is 25% throttle, 50, 75, and 100% throttle readings. Now, immediately, if you take a quick glance and you know what you're looking for, what I find to be the Eoshin EX 1103-7000 KV to be the most efficient out of the bunch here. And the way that I look at this is, um, first of all, I like to see the, the, the full thrust, like how powerful it is. It is pretty powerful at 162 grams, and uh, the most powerful are the 1104 and the Mamba 1103. However, not all of them handle 3S very well. For example, the Geb RC on a 3S, and again, this is a static test. I wasn't unloading the propeller. I did start to smell the uh, coating slightly. And for example, the Mamba here, even though it's a higher KV, I didn't smell any of the coating, but it did get pretty toasty. Uh, but in the air, it would be something completely different, but that is also something to keep in mind and take note of here. And that's the whole idea of these videos. Now, if we go back to the Eoshin EX 1103 7000 KV, now the 7000 KV does help, but check this out, 2.9 grams of force per watt. That's really, really good in terms of efficiency. It's almost double the efficiency, not almost double, we could say, I don't know, 30% more efficient than most, uh, which is a good thing. And what we can see is what I like to look for is the 50% throttle and the 75% throttle because that is where I'm usually flying the most. I barely ever punch full throttle unless I'm going to crash or trying to recover, but it's just for a short instant here. And another thing that I like to look for is the amp draw on these throttle levels. Here we were pulling 1.3 amps for 51 grams of force. Usually these toothpicks weigh around less than 55 grams if you built it correctly. And um, to be able to use, what is that? It's gonna be three times 1.3, so that's gonna be 5.2 amps, 5.2 amps around that range. So it's not draining a lot of current, which is really great. And then if you push it just slightly more, you get 103 grams at 75% throttle. You're still keeping that efficiency, which is really nice. I also have a chart here to give us the efficiency reading, and you can see uh, how efficient the Eoshin actually is, yet it's still more powerful, uh, this is full throttle by the way, um, than the Geb RC and the Happy model. But I think the Geb RC was losing a lot of its power in heat because um, it, it, I just started smelling the decodings, the decoding on two of them, not just one. I was like, okay, maybe one is a dud. But the Geb RC, I don't think is um, really 100% suited for a 3S. And 
this is a theory of mine, you have a pro higher probability of burning that motor in a crash than any of the other motors here. The next down the line would be the Mamba. That's on a 3S, not, not talking 2S. The next down the line would be a Mamba, which I would think you would possibly burn. But this is just theoretical, and I could be totally wrong here. But the Geb RC really does have a higher probability than all of these because of... Um, because of the windings because I smelt it. I didn't burn the motor, but I could smell the windings there uh, So these motors here's the results none of them are you know I'm not saying which one's good which one's bad uh, You can take this data for your own use case and you know There isn't really the perfect motor so you can see this data see what fits you the most and go along with it For me I personally like a bit of power but a lot of efficiency and maneuverability in my toothpicks uh, Because I really like the extended long flight times to keep trying to hit those gaps and practicing because you know you know, the, the practicing those little tiny gaps does actually translate into your bigger quadcopters and usually when I go practice in my bando I'm usually flying with the toothpicks seeing what I could get away with and then I go attempt it with my bigger quads especially my basher quad here running the racer star motors because I have no fear of breaking these motors because I just have a pack of motors you get like a for 100 bucks you get like 10 motors so this is kind of like a quad that's meant to be broken this big one here and the toothpicks are just insane here um, I just love them. And the twigs, twigs is uh, something new I've tried recently and I'm starting to fall in love with also, but we'll have a separate thing for that later on. Let's jump to the 2S. We're just going to take a quick glance over these, uh, see which one fits you the most here. Let's start with the chart real quick. We can again see that the Eoshin EX1103 is the most efficient, yet it's not the most powerful. But then again, you have to choose what fits you best. It's not the most powerful. It was pulling a maximum of... Uh, 86 grams of force so it's it's not that but I mean when you have four motors it's great but it's not as powerful as like an Geb RC 1103 and to be honest it doesn't even shine by that much just by what 15 grams and the efficiency on the uh, you know 1103 7000 kV is much better however you also need to take something into consideration when purchasing these which is the motor holes because some of them come with three some of them come with four the three will not go on a four and the four will not go on a three so keep in mind and make sure your frame supports which one of those motors currently they're all tending to standardize to the four hole but i think esha and happy model are trying to make some sort of a proprietary monopoly in that mounting hole size so they can have you keep buying their motors on their frames so when you buy a pre-made one It'll, you know, it'll force you to buy the three whole motors. So keep that in mind. That's very important because you don't want to buy motors and next thing you know, they don't fit on your frame here. And here you go. You can just take a look at this. I'll have these results up from my Patreons. Uh, all the testing that I have a ton load of CSV files, uh, which I'm planning on compressing somewhere or putting them on my drive and sharing them with everybody. Uh, but obviously, Patreons get the dibs and uh, my compiled data. They get first access to all my compiled data. And uh, they also get giveaways, for example. FR Sky giveaway this month. This is the brand new one. And also uh, goggles as well. The Sky Zone OLEDs will be this month and some other things also. Every month I'm doing pre premium giveaways. And well, that's it guys. I'll have a link to everything down below. Hopefully you made it. You can make your educated guess if you are looking to purchase one of these. And uh, if you click those links, they'll support the channel, allow me to keep creating content like this. And well, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys.